Um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of eyes on this stock. Um, looking at LILM, it was mentioned in my Discord, but uh, yeah, I'm looking at this and looking at my system, this is the first time we have actually ever hit this lower band, which is extremely sold territory. It don't happen often. On the flip side, if you hit it to the upside, this red band colored red is because you wouldn't want to short it, right? So um, looking at LILM, um, looking at the past history, I don't, I haven't seen it hit this lower band. I'm going to keep looking. I haven't done anything else. I'm doing this raw data with you guys. And I just like to see, so, you know, we were way back here in, you know, 2021. So we have quite a bit of data in here. It's not like, you know, you know, relatively new. And um, it is a 20 cents, you know, it is at 20 cents. So remember, pennies are more speculative. They're more riskier. And let's just see what the heck has happened with this. Let's let's go through this together. So the approved for a self-administration of German units. Um, right here says the they will apply for in the next few days with content court in Germany. So um, yeah, reading some of this stuff, we got some negative news. Uh, they cause limit of fraud. Says continue to re misrepresent progress. Nose dives on insolvency news. So it plunges fifty eight percent. Um, so if we look at the chart, yeah, we're plummeted 61% here. So the, the stock of German aerospace companies, so that's what it is. It manufactures air taxis, is down 58% after the company said its two main sub uh, subsidiaries will fire for, uh, file for insolvency. So the company's two primary subsidiaries are these, such and such. Okay, so we get the point, right? Um, we, we get the point of what's happening here. Lost loan, Olivia is a good stock to buy. We can look at the analysts here and see if they even have anything here. So we have a hold based on seven analysts, strong buy, buy, hold, and then underperform. Um, very interesting. So what's we, we got that down. Um, just wanted to see, you know, obviously if it goes down this much, there, you know, there's going to be some, you know, is the news you know, is is this stock undervalued or is this is this an overreaction move? You know, you know, you know how you like you 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 cut your hand, right? You're gonna bleed a lot. Is it an overreaction where you gotta cut and go to the hospital? You, or you can just put a band-aid on it. That's kind of what I'm trying to analyze here. You know, is it you know, do we need to go to the hospital for this stock? Or is this just like, okay, I think you guys are overreacting. Um, so looking at this. It is a big move down. We're hitting this HR4 lower band. It's the first time it has ever done that. Um, I will say the one thing I'm just like, ah, uh, a little air, you know, a little wary about it. We haven't touched this EMA5. I mean, we've, we're on this EMA5. I tell people a lot of the times when we don't touch this EMA5, I like to look for that time distance. I've seen a lot of these big drops do keep going down. Um, I also seen dead cat bounces. Um, so you know, usually when you have a big drop, you, you get like a little dead cat bounce. Look at this insane move, right? You know, we went from 48 cents to 20 cents over 100% move down. Well, let's just say you go to this back to this lower band at this price here. You're looking at a, at least a 15% gain. Um, you know, pretty good margin, right? And this is why you always buy two at the end of the day, because if you try to catch this drop all throughout the day, usually what happens is when sellers are in control, they're in control the whole day. So you want to make sure all throughout the day you do not buy this thing. Oh, wow. After hours, we had a 17 cent back here. This was a uh, look at this little gain right here. Using lower time frames, you got your 15% right there. As you can see on a lower time frame, when you hit this five minute lower band here, pierce it like that. It's a pretty nice little entry. And that's kind of how I would look to get into something like this. Look, lower time frames, as long as you have, I like to look at the one minute too. Um, look for time distance. Uh, nothing's going to be perfect, guys. Um, but as you can see, like, you, you see how you yeah, get these little spikes here and here, right? Look at that 11% from there, from the lows to here. Not too shabby, right? Another little gain right in here. You can kind of see, you know, a little scalping going on right in here. Um, and then, you know, this thing has been moving throughout the day. Um, you know, look at this massive move up. And, and, and some say, like, well, is that your dead cat? 74% gain intraday right in here. If you know, this thing has potential to move up pretty big. But you're not going to see this if you look at the daily time frame. All you see is, um, oh, this is all I see on a daily. I just see a big fat red candle. You don't see those big moves intraday. So the reason, the way I would trade this, I wouldn't want to swing it. I would not want to swing this trade, have some overnight risk that I can't control. 
I want to swing it. I want to day trade this. I want to look at lower time frames. Now that the big move happened, I want to look at lower time frames. I want to say, well, do we have time distance away from the CMA 20, right? Anything that don't touch the CMA 20 is 30 minutes. Well, you might ask, well, when do you look to enter? Around the 20 minute mark. We don't just trade right when it touches the lower band. After hours is more manipulative. And so what happens is you can get these big candles here that, you know, and that's really what you want to look for. What I really liked was that big massive rain here, you know. Um, obviously, I would not expect to go all the way to the upper band. But um, as you can see, if you waited 30 minutes here from this candle's 931, well, when did we touch the EMA 20? It was way back in, it was 1008. So about a 30 minute time frame. So when you wait about 20 minutes, you'll get around in this mark. You'd be like, okay, let's say you got this candle. You add it 23, you buy it at 20. And then, um, yeah, I mean, this is massive. So um, my thoughts on this, I think it's an overreaction um it's never hit the atr4 i i do think this is due for a dead cat bounce on the daily chart too not just intraday i can see it closing above a little bit i think there's a lot of eyes you know too we have 116 million volume on this before we had 17. you know this didn't just catch eyes now this thing has always had volume look at this three million you know this is a really i think it's a really good buy um i, I really do actually um, high returns here just to this lower ATR4 you're looking at at least you know from the lows you're looking at, at least 15% I mean I'm, who doesn't want to make 15% in one day like that you know that's pretty good all right guys so if you enjoyed this analysis I hope you enjoyed it if you guys do want to join a community where um, we talk about stuff like this where you can get your chart like this understand the strategies um, and be a part of how to catch trades before they pump because if, when this thing starts pumping you don't want to get in this because I guarantee you this is looking like a dead cat bounce to a move lower um, you don't want to stay here you don't want to stay you're welcome this is a penny stock you get in you get out you don't marry this stock <laughs> there's a reason why it's 20 cents um, and it's not something you want to hold long you gotta understand time is against you on pennies don't hold them long um, so hit, hit the link down below in my YouTube comments below or in my description. It'll say join the premium discord for my alerts system. When you hit that link down below, it'll take you to this free chat landing page. Um, if you want to join the discord, that will give you access. It doesn't mean you're a subscriber once you join. If you do want to join and be a part of a bigger community, all you have to do is hit day trade alerts right here. And that will give you access to my membership. It will give you, you want to know if your name is in gold, you have all the you know all the access and then if you hit server shop here you can read about it but what i discussed is a very cheap everything is going to be affordable because i understand lots of server charges hundreds of dollars i try to keep trading as simple as stupid right where anybody can do this you got two eyeballs you can understand these educated videos these um you know when i go over this you can understand like why would you not buy it right in here because first of all you're not even at the atr4 so we can clearly lay that out I'm not saying this is an A-plus setup because we have EMA-5 time distance. I want to see candle away from this EMA-5. I'm more saying, since this is early on, I think dead cat bounce. I would day trade it. I would not swing trade it. That's my theory on it. But um, look look to join the day in swing trading plus. It is 12, bu 12 bucks a month. Uh, you get the access to all the memberships, all the, day tr uh, all the alerts, my education, and more importantly, my live streams. I go live for the members right here on the RTK live stream. You can join this, and um, it's awesome. You, you know, if you have any questions, even if you want to join for free, I'll put the link down below in the description. You can just get a little heads up and just join it. Obviously, you won't get, you know, be a part of the community, but you can just kind of get a hangout, hang how I like to trade. Um, day trading is my favorite. That's why I recommend it. You can be a full-time trader doing this strategy with my day trading strategy. I think anybody can do it. It's very simple. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is my update on LILM. It's down 7% after hours at a price of 19 cents, 0.1930. We went hit a low of 17.52. We had this nice little bounce away and making a 14%. So let's see what let's see what happens here, guys. Um, see if my analysis is correct. Watch this intraday pumps as I just showed you. You know, it did a 78% move, so <laughs> it can do it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you guys in the Discord. Give this video a like, subscribe, comment. And as always, I love you guys, and thank you so much for supporting. Peace out.